What is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of the TV Movie Podcast. And today I got for you Ted Lasso, Season 4, or Season 3, my bad, Episode 9. Last episode, we saw that Keely and Jack are sort of had that little argument. We don't know where the relationship stands, but we find out in this episode it's pretty much over because Keely tried texting her and she's getting no response so basically she's getting ghosted by Jack and reason is is because they had that little argument and basically Keely's videos got leaked online and she Jack wanted Keely to apologize to the public but Keely refused to because she felt like it wasn't her fault and basically Jack is her boss and Jack basically chose you know business over her relationship because she's not texting Keely back and so she doesn't really want to associate with Keely if she's not going to apologize to the public so it just kind of shows you an example of don't mix business with pleasure that's why I don't go after my shorties at the workplace I keep my <laughs> I keep my debauchery after work hours but uh yeah we see that nate has a new girlfriend and uh she brings nate to she nate brings her to work and i didn't know there was a thing called bring your girlfriend to work day but apparently there is and as you can imagine rupert is there and rupert is acting like the creepy old grandfather at the family reunion he's, he's just eyeing nate's girlfriend up and down like yo Dude, Nate, don't mess this up type shit. Kind of flirty. But I don't think uh, Keely's... Or, dude, I'm messing up names today. I don't think Nate's girlfriend is uh, is is really reciprocating that energy. So I think uh, Rupert was just kind of testing the waters type stuff. And so after that, uh, Rupert invites Nate to a guy's night. And uh, yeah, I don't know why he did that, but I, he just did that. And Nate's like, oh, guys, not just us guys? Yeah, sure. Uh, then when he gets there, he, he, it's not only guys he sees. <laughs> he sees two fine-ass MILFs. And Nate's like, oh, this is what you meant by guys' night. And Nate's like, yo, Rupert, I thought we had guys' night. And Rupert's like, nigga, this is guys' night. <laughs> what are you talking about? And obviously, we know that Rupert dibbles and dabbles in that type of life basically he cheated on rebecca and now he's cheating on his new wife and uh he expects nate to do the same thing but at that moment nate looked at rupert like a different person he pretty much lost all respect he had for rupert and tells rupert yo i i can't be involved in this i think i have something going on i gotta go and rupert just kind of gives him that look like ah so you a bitch i get it <laughs> At this point, I know, I feel like this is all leading up to Nate's inevitable leaving West Ham United. I don't know the exact reason, but I do know he ends up leaving West Ham United because I accidentally skipped ahead. But uh, Then we see Isaac, team captain. He's acting weird around Colin because last episode when he was making all the players delete their phones uh, so they wouldn't get leaked. He saw a bunch of, well, we don't really know what he saw, but we can just kind of assume what he saw. And then um, kind of, you now he's acting weird around Colin. Like he doesn't want to talk to Colin. Like when they both put their hands in uh, to for the team huddle, yeah, Colin puts his hands right on top of Isaac's and Isaac moves his hand in disgust. It's like, yo, ew. <laughs> yo, that's messed up. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but uh, yeah, it's just kind of funny the way he did it. And uh, so, yeah, meanwhile, this is not healthy for team, team chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Like if the two players are acting weird around each other and they're both starters, like the team's not going to perform well. So we they do have a match and uh, they're down because of those two exact players, Colin and Isaac. And I think the first goal they conceded was... Isaac made a bad pass. He passed it back, uh, and the other team got it and scored. 
And Colin basically did like the same thing. He like turned the ball over and the other team scored. So they're down at halftime. And I think Isaac yelled at Colin for the second goal that happened. And yeah, so once they get back to the uh, to the to the locker rooms, some fan who's been heckling them all game drops the F slur like y'all been playing like a bunch of. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not gonna say it. But uh, Isaac hears it and he gets super heated. He jumps up in the stands and attack, tries to attack the fan. And I'm not sure why he did it at first, but then I'm thinking. He knows that Colin is gay, so maybe he's not mad that Colin's gay. He's just mad that um, Colin maybe lied to him, and this is him trying to, to defend Colin because this fan dropped the F slur, and uh, Colin obviously heard it, so uh, Isaac gets the red card. The ref gives Isaac a red card, and they head back to the locker room. Everyone, everybody wants to know why Isaac did what he did, and then Isaac basically says he tried, said the F slur, and it seems like okay, we've heard worse, or we've all heard this before. What's why are you acting all weird about it now? And so when Isaac leaves the locker room, Roy pulls him aside, takes him out of the locker room. Colin hasn't said a word about anything yet, and Colin finally comes out to the team, and. Uh, the team accepts him and yeah so we finally get to the rest of the game and Colin I think scores a couple goals and the AFC Richmond ends up winning that game because like I guess all that tension is has been released and so they can finally play and uh yeah but Isaac Isaac wasn't even there so they only had 10 people playing they were down one man and they still ended up winning so that was pretty impressive. So Roy basically pulls Isaac aside and uh, I think they had like a heart to heart. And once uh, there's press conferences, they, I think uh, one of the uh, reporters asked Roy, yo, Roy, why did Isaac go up and attack that fan? And Roy says, yo, we're all, we may be footballers, but at the end of the day, we're human beings just like you. Just because you can say, something to us you guys can say anything you want to us and we're expected not to react in any type of way like for example like bro fans in the nba are ruthless they just they say anything to anybody i remember like they said like some crazy things to russell westbrook and he finally had enough of it he called him westbrook saying he should retire he finally went up to the stands and he just basically just t told the the fan like told the fan off, you know what I'm saying? Like yo, you can't just treat us anyhow just because you paid money, and and you came here to see us play. It gives you the right to just talk all this nonsense to us. No, it doesn't. And Roy kind of gives like this uh, story about how he kind of, you know went through that same thing but he was on the other end of the stick because he was a guy that was making jokes at his friends and his friends basically just beat his ass because Roy basically said yo his friend was getting married and he was get having a kid and Roy was making fun of him for it saying oh you old timer you getting married having kids and he got beat up for his, such a simple comment but he, di he didn't know why until he finally understood that or found out that his friend Actually, his kid got, you know, uh, what's the word, uh, miscarried, and he ended up losing the kid. And at that same time, Roy was unknowingly making a simple joke, but he was going through a loss. So basically saying, you don't know what goes, through, goes on in people's lives, so better be careful what you say to people, man. And just try to be a good person at the end of the day instead of just judging people and try to try to make jokes, not no understanding what other people go through. So that was a pretty good message from Roy. And after the game, we see that Isaac pulls up at Colin's crib, basically tells Colin why he was acting weird. It was just because you lied to him and didn't think you could tell him because they thought he was boys, you know? Like, if you're my boy, you should be able to tell me stuff like this. So that's why Isaac was heated. And yeah, so pretty good episode, man. Uh, yeah, can't wait for the next one.
guys thank you for listening and watching i'm gonna see you in the next video take care bless up peace